Okay. So the discussion for today's uh, session is uh, the discussion title rather is sensitivity training or T group training. Okay. I'm sure most of you uh, are not very familiar with this. Nonetheless, it is a part of our uh, a program. It's a part of your uh, syllabus. And I will try my best to uh, help you all understand, implement, uh, and probably realize why this particular title is important to all of us as trainers. So the title is T-Group Training or Sensitivity Training Program. Okay. As usual, the session will be hands-on, experience-based. You will have to be a part of uh, uh, an exercise discussion, presentation. Okay. Are all of you connected to me? Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So for the first five to 10 minutes, I will give you a brief orientation, snapshot, rather, in other words, of what is T-group training, sensitivity training program. And then we will dive into an exercise. We will work on a problem. And then we will come back with presentations and then understand uh, the implications, importance, of, or uh, in other words, benefits of uh, T-group training program. Okay? Okay. So as I have already told you, the topic for tra uh, today's discussion is T group training program. T group training program is also called as sensitivity training program. T group is training group training program. Sounds weird. Nonetheless, it has its own importance. T group training into bracket training group training. Sensitivity training. Or this is also called as student laboratory training. Okay. Now, why is this called as sensitivity training or T group training? The person behind this is Kurt Levin, a well known researcher, author, management guru. He is the one who has uh, coined this term and, and has conducted many uh, exercises, many research studies on this title. Okay. Uh, this is an experience-based training where people learn with the help of their own experience. Okay, Sensitivity training program, as the name says, is a type of training program which helps the participants to know the impact of their words, their actions, their ideas on others. Usually, it so happens that we conduct a training program, we are a part of some meetings, we make out our uh, uh, points, we, we are assertive, sometimes we are forceful, we make out some suggestions, we give out some suggestions, we are assertive sometimes, we are a part of some discussion. Now, usually it happens that we give out suggestions and we want people to do uh, some work. But nonetheless, usually 9 out of 10 times, we fail to analyze its impact on others. Meaning, I say something to all of you. What impact does it leave on you as members? And how do I get to know who was impacted how? Same if, I, if I'm addressing to 10 people. Someone was positively impacted. Someone was negatively impacted. How did it impact whom? So to understand these nuances, there is a very popular method of training program called as T-group training program or sensitivity training program. Wherein, impact of every member on other group, other group member, impact of everyone on everyone. In other words, impact of one on everyone. 
So we will understand what is this with the help of a quick exercise. This training program uh, aims to make people sensitive, as the name says, sensitivity training program. It uh, aims to build sensitivity index or sensitivity question of the respondents or of the trainee. Okay. And it has many advantages, which we will understand a little later. Are you all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So please listen to the instructions. All of you are expected to uh, undergo some uh, activity. And this is how you will have to do this. If you have a pen, paper, notepad, diary, please note down a few things. Okay, water crisis. Please take down topic number one. Topic number one, water crisis. Why and how is it affecting lives of people? Water crisis. Water crisis. What and how is it affecting the lives of people? Uh, sir, please once repeat the question. Water crisis. Water crisis. Okay. How? How? Yeah. And why is it affecting the lives of people? Okay. Yeah, sir. Thank you. The, the title continues. Ways and means to mitigate ways and means to mitigate ways and means to mitigate the negative effects of this. This is title number one. Title number two. Title number two. Soil erosion and soil loss. Soil, soil. Soil erosion and soil loss. Unseen danger. Soil erosion and soil loss. And unseen danger. that awaits the next generation. Third title, third title, escalating, escalating summer woes. Escalating summer woes. The way forward. Escalating summer woes. The way forward. The meaning of this third title is year on year, we are witnessing that the summer season is getting harsh. It is worse than what it was. What is the way forward? So I have given you three titles. What is expected from, e, uh, you will be divided. I forgot to tell this. I'll be making uh, breakout rooms now. You will be escalating summer woes. W-O-E-S, meaning problems. Escalating summer woes. These are three titles. Listen to the instructions carefully. If you have got any doubts. And uh, there are a lot of uh, to-dos 
there are a lot of uh, protocols to be followed. So please listen carefully. Step number one, all of you will be divided into different breakout rooms. Second, once you join any breakout room, you can mutually select any of these three titles and you will have to discuss on this. Try and come up with constructive uh, solutions. Try and come out with constructive inputs. While you do that, it is important, it is important to take note. It is important to take note of your group members. Who were your group members? You have to compulsorily take down their names. You will have to compulsorily take down their names. And you will have to on your uh, on your page in your diary you will have to compulsorily make a column for each member of your group you will have to compulsorily make a earmark a column for every member of your group okay during the discussion. This is the first phase of exercise. We will dive or we will step into the next phase once we complete phase one. So this exercise is a very lengthy one. It has got two phases. Phase number one, I repeat, you will have to join uh, randomly made breakout room. Mutually with your group members, you will have to choose one out of these three given titles. Choose one. Have in-depth discussion. Have clear and in-depth discussion. At the same time, you will have to take note of the names of your group members. And also jot down their viewpoints. What did they say? What did you say? And you, know, you may not be able to make a column for yourself, but then for every member, you will have to earmark a column. Are you all clear what is to be done? Don't get confused later. If you've got queries, ask me now. Sir, is it like individually all the team members, they have to note down the inputs or any one recorder? No, no, no. Everyone, each and every member will uh, earmark column for every other member. Sure. Other than himself or, her, or herself. Every member will have to take note of each member in the group and make a column, dedicate a column for every member. This task is to be done by every member of this breakout room. Is that clear? Yes, sir. It is crystal clear. Okay. Right. Thank you. So please join the breakout rooms now. We have 38 members. So 40, 40 means uh, 5, okay. Four to 5. Okay, is that okay? Any doubts? Okay. Please join. You you have 
more than 10 minutes. You have more than 10 minutes.
I think we finished early. Sanjeev said, Hi, Karisma Desai. Uh, I was in the room number five. I, by mistake, you know, I got dropped out of the room and people are still discussing. you're on mute because of the network i got dropped out okay you got dropped out from the from the room okay yes sir okay how can i help you now you want me to place you back in the room no sir nareen is here he was in my group so probably i just wanted to inform you that this happened. okay okay no issue okay okay welcome back all of you yeah, almost all the members are back. I hope all of you have had a healthy discussion. I request all of you to please start your camera if you're comfortable. Yes, sir. We have discussed enough points. So, okay. which group to start with, sir? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what is to be done. I'll tell you. Okay, we have completed the first phase of sensitivity training. We will now step into the second phase. In the second phase, it's all about reflection. Meaning, meaning you will have to evaluate you will have to reflect the impact of every person on you. Were they dominating? Were they listening? Were they assertive? Were they imposing? Were they listening? Were they supporting? Were they joining their voice with you? What did every member do? what was the influence of every member on you this is what you will have to do in the second phase i'll give you some time once uh, you will not be divided into uh, breakout rooms now the platform will be open time will be given to you to reflect your opinion your perception 
what was the influence of every member of your group on you for example there were five members in your group x y z a b so what was the influence of x on you dominating assertive supportive or uh, no impact are you clear yes, what sir. was what was the influence of z on yes, you sir. so take your time take your time you have 5 to 6 minutes to do this exercise fill each column with your opinion fill each column with your opinion okay whatever beat beat anything influencing dominating imposing high handed uh, leg pulling non supportive discouraging uh, lamenting commenting criticizing pulling you down beat anything okay now i as i had told you to earmark a column each for your member in the same column you will have to now reflect your perception or your opinion okay your time starts now please do it Okay, done. All of you. Uh, is it done, sir? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, in my group, sir, I'm not able to write anything. Please help me. Like in my team, all were supporting. They all were listening each other. One by one, they all were speaking. Like in chronological order, we can say we were seven there. So one by one, we have decided to speak. So nobody was dominating in it. So I'll come. To, I'll come to. your group a little later but then okay. now the second phase is all about reflection and expression now you are 
डॉक्यूमेंटिंग योर रिफ्लेक्शन वॉट डिड यू फील अबाउट एवरी मेंबर इन योर ग्रुप Okay, when they were sharing points, like what did I feel about it during the course of discussion? Okay. Right. Like, sir, can you give any example? We will have demonstrations, and then we you will come to know. Okay, the okay. Okay. the concept is very clear. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's not complicated at all. Like we can say, somebody is speaking a lot. Then I would say, okay, he's egotistic person. He's thinking he is very intellectual. He is showing superiority in the group. Can I think in this way? Like it's also my what? reflection. What? What was the impact? or influence of every member on you or it is very uh, i re request all of you to be on mute somebody is playing some background music some voice in the background i don't know i'm not able to figure out who is that okay please listen to me this phase is about reflection here you will note and document what was the influence of every member on you that's all you are not worried about what happened how did every member make you feel what was the influence or what was the impact of every member on you individually did he listen did he not listen was he taking your point was he not taking your point supportive whatever has happened influence of every member on you that's it as as simple as that okay now we will come to group 1 group 1 please unmute yourself all the members of breakout room number 1 please unmute yourself breakout room number 1 okay can you share your views can you share your views breakout room number 1 um Hello, sir. Yes. This is Dipali from room one. Yes. So okay. So I now, would. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'll tell you what is to be done. Okay. I'll tell you. Don't. Um. Uh, now the task is very simple. Don't tell me the topic that you have chosen. Mm -hmm. Just tell me. What was the influence of? member x y z a b on you x member positive or x member dominating x member coming effect x me y member this so just go on telling me the impact or influence of every member on you similarly after you the next member will speak okay so, so you uh... should say, you should say dipali group number 1 these many members were there in my group x y z a b were there in my group x did this and the influence was this it's as simple as it crisp brief go ahead okay so uh, including me there were five members in my group yeah. and uh, from my observations all of them were really supportive and they were listening to me no, no not not all of them not all of them okay i can take names yes okay. that is why you have been asked to earmark a column for every member of mm -hmm. your group okay okay so there were, there was ekta nikhil sukriti no and... it's okay ekta member was there influence was yeah. this Yeah, so Ekta was uh, uh, 
uh, Ektav is actively listening to my points and using them to uh, adding on to them. She was very collaborative and supportive. Okay, right. Next member. So Nikhil was also all, listening. All, all the other members, keep a note. Listen to your feedback. See what impact will you leave on others. Okay, why? Listen to why now. Okay, oh, sorry. Uh, next member. Deepali, next member. So Nikhil was also listening and he uh, he uh, suggested how the uh, like uh, conversation can go, can flow. Hmm. But after that, uh, there was not much contribution from his side because I think he was uh, having some personal thing. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he contributed some uh, major points to the okay. discussion. Next, third. Then you are Sharma. I think it's Upma. I'm not sure about her name. So yes. she was uh, also like, she had really good points. I didn't feel she was being assertive or anything. It was like a normal discussion going to and fro. She was also uh, like supportive, really supportive. Next. So Kriti also had really good points and non-assertive. And uh, I really like felt that whatever I'm saying, she's able to put that into words. Yes. Then next. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Okay. Ekta, now tell me what is the influence of others on you? Yeah, sure. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'll start with the uh, uh include including myself. We were five members in the group. Uh so we had Dipali, Nikhil, uh Upma and Sukriti. So all uh, four of them, uh certainly excluding me, while I was uh also participating in the group, everybody uh, equally had uh, an impact. However, I can bifurcate them in certain, um, uh, you know, qualities. Like while Sukriti, uh, while Dipali started, so she took hold of uh, the conversation and uh, uh, she uh, included, she was basically, in, in the introduction was by Dipali and she was the one to start the conversation. So certainly she was supportive. Hmm. I would not say that anybody of us was dominating. However, yes, whatever she said, it had a uh, great impact on everyone. As the moment she started, she could add on to, uh, you know, new pointers, which we took forward, all of us. Yes. And yes. then Sukriti, Sukriti added, you know, live examples from uh, the country, uh, the so that was something that she was aware of. I would really appreciate. What, what, what was the influence? What was the impact? Uh, it was it was supportive. Um, I again, I assertive. If you're assertive, it's not a bad thing. So I would say that Dipali, she was assertive. She knew what she was saying. So she was aware of her points, her thoughts and her words. They, uh, you know, collaborated with each other. Similarly with Sukriti as well. And uh, Upma, Upma gave us very good points uh, for, uh, you know, this uh, escalating heat, like vertical planning and so on and so forth. I did not uh, hear uh, it before I heard it for the first time. And then certainly uh, Nikhil's, uh, you know, gave a good start as he told us how to go about it. So the path was shown by Nikhil, like we can uh, suggest five W's and some precautionary measures and so on and so forth. Certainly then he got busy uh, with himself. So. Initially, there was an impact, but yeah, later there was no impact. Uh, and and yeah, so supportive, Sukriti, Dipali, and Upma, they were supportive. And uh, overall, overall, it uh, left a great impact on me that it, it was influential that I could think, you know, it was brainstorming for me that I could think in, uh, of more points how I can include. Uh, to this conversation, to this discussion, and how can we uh, yeah. make this discussion, uh, you know, lively? Done. So yeah, next, the next whole group. Thing. Thank you. The next member of your group from your group. Next member from your group. Oh. I I can go. Um, yes. Yeah. So for me, uh, Nikhil sounded uh, very planful, very intellectual, but I was not able to rely later on because he was participation went on this thing. Uh, so for Dipali, uh, she was very supportive. She gave opportunity to everyone and uh, she was polite, listening. And for Ekta, I would say that uh, 
uh, I somehow, I mean, uh, definitely she cooperated everyone with everybody's points. But somehow the voice, I was finding it very dominating, though the points were not. But then I found it, uh, you know, I'm sorry. If, I hope no one feels. I'm just trying to be honest. Nothing offensive, and, nothing offensive. Okay, I yeah. watch uh, your apology. Uh, nothing offensive. Yeah. Nothing offensive. Okay. For Sukriti, uh, she made very good points. Uh, but it was very random contribution but very solid points, but it could not leave a much impact due to less participation. Right, thank you. Next thank member, you. next member. Done, all done, okay. We will so, jump to, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead, Dr. Deshpande. Yeah, yeah, yes, please tell me. Uh, perfect. So, uh, as you have heard that I was not occupied, like I was not able to contribute much uh, after a certain point of time because I got uh, into something else. Uh, so for me, the conversation for which I was a part of, I felt it was neutral from all the participants in the group. Uh, the only reason being that I didn't felt it dominating or supportive is because all of us were aligned with what we were sharing. You get a support, you get a dominance when there is a difference in the perspective, what people are sharing. But now since there was no difference in the perspective into what all of us were sharing, I felt we are completely streamlined and aligned in what we are sharing. And that was the reason I felt that it was a neutral impact on me. Yes. So be it Usha, be, sorry, Upma, be it uh, Ekta, be it Dipali, be it Sukriti, all of us had a neutral impact on my opinion. Right, right, right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Should, should we jump on to, should we go to uh, breakout room number two? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we will go to... Room number two. Okay. Room number two, follow the same process. Member, name of the member, impact. Name of the member, impact. Quickly. I guess it was Parul and others in, in group number two. Yes. Uh, so in group number two, we were uh, Ankita, Bhakti, Rupali, Anika, and myself. Um, okay, so some of the quick observations, uh, how I see is Ankita was an initiative uh, taker and uh, was actively involved in discussion right from the start. Um, then Rupali was a listener and after listening and understanding, you know, where the conversation is heading, uh, she equally participated. So she was again active. Uh, she did volunteer in contributing to the inputs. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we had Bhakti who was listening and observing, but a passive participation. We had to ask for inputs. So it was a passive in terms of the contribution being put. But when asked, she did give valuable inputs. So they all contributed in terms of giving the valuable inputs. Anika, um, let's say with the capacity of, you know, she did join our group later on. But despite that, she was active. She was, um, I'm going to use the word assertive in a positive sense, meaning being able to contribute to the inputs. Uh, not aggressive, assertive, no, assertive in a very balanced way in stating her point of view, her thought process in making the discussion more meaningful and um, um, uh, ensuring that, you know, we have the right inputs to present to the entire group. Um, and I, I think what Nikhil had mentioned in the group one uh, is the same that, you know, when uh, in this kind of discussion, we were not actually challenging either each other. So we were very aligned with whatever any and everyone was saying, we were aligned. And um, uh, so we, we did yeah. not feel that in, we were dominating or, yeah. but yes, that's it. Yeah. Over to others. Uh, Anika, what is your opinion? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. you, can, you can be very brief. Name yeah. of the member, impact. Name of the member, yes. impact. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, Parul, was very polite, supportive. She had very clear ideas. So she left a very positive impact. Uh, she was able to direct the group well towards a more constructive discussion. Um, and 
Ankita was patient and contributing. She took initiative in, in the initial part of the conversation, which I missed, but I was later briefed about. Um, Bhakti was she patiently waited for her turn and was supportive. Rupali was an active listener and participated well in discussion. Like everybody said, our compass were, were aligned. So we all contributed well. Nobody was assertive, dominating, or aggressive. Okay, done. That's it. Next member from the same group. Yeah, I will, uh, I will take uh, this uh, We were uh, Parul, Bhakti, Ankita, Anika, and myself. Uh, Parul was leading the discussion and she gave very uh, important points. And she was very positive throughout. She concluded uh, whatever we uh, said, our points, uh, and she noted down everything. Uh, Bhakti was uh, also contributed. She was giving inputs positively. Uh, and it was very uh, good discussion. Thank you. Right. right. So what we will do is, I may not be able to give mic uh, to everyone because the paucity of time, we have 15 minutes to go because I will have to summarize this. So what we will do is quickly, uh, we will go to group three now. Uh, if you can uh, hurry up and quickly reflect your perceptions, I think we can touch uh, all the rooms. Quickly, member name, reflection. Member name, impact. Quickly. So maybe I can start. We have a, we are a yes. six person in a group. Yogesh, yes. Ram, Madhu, Ashad and Shivaya. Yeah. Uh, for the Yugesh, he is a initiator, sportive and involving. And yeah. Kiri Ram, he was dominated, but in a very positive way. So he uh, shared the practical and assertive points and uh, kind of problems for work. Madhu, Rajan, Arshad and Shivani, they were very less engaged or less involved. So that was very less impactful. So right. Quickly, uh, uh, members from the same group, from Rahul's group, quickly. Member name impact. Member name impact. Quickly. It's like uh, one word answer. Quickly, quickly. Hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, Rahul was the initiative. He was the first to talk. And Yogi uh, also did the uh, um, two powers everybody. Ashan was very really And Shivai also had a lot of uh, points to the point. Manu was very correct. Next member. Yeah. Next member. I am Madhu. Uh, we had Shriram, um, Shivram, Ra Shivani, Rahul, Yogi, Sharshad in our group. And all of our uh, were supportive. We uh, started with Rahul's discussion. Rahul was uh, initiating and he was collaborative, giving good points, good number of points. Then it was Shriram giving his points, and uh, Rahul was showing examples of what he was applying in uh, real life, contributing to the discussion. Yogesh sir was also very... No, no, no. I, 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 uh, I request once again, let me clarify. Please don't give me the contributions. Please don't tell us the contribution. Rahul impact. Member X, member Y. Impact of X was this. Impact of Y on me was this. Impact of Z on me was this. Quickly. Shuram's impact was yes, he started he started off and he was collaborative. Same with Shivani. Shivani was less uh, less collaborative and less of speaking she did, less of uh, points she gave. Rahul was the same. He initiated, he gave his good points. Yogesh sir gave good points and he concluded. Arshad gave few points like me and done. Yeah. Next member. Next member. So please hurry up. Uh, stick to the point. Uh, please uh, be mindful of the time. Member name impact. Member name impact. That's all. Yeah, it's a room number three, Yogesh Kukreti. And uh, from Sri Ram, I believe that he is very much uh, collaborative. And uh, impact on me, I uh, feel that whenever he was sharing, he was, uh, you know, adding value to this. Rahul. Uh, again, adding point and uh, demonstrating live examples as well. Arshad was engaged with some personal call because of that. I think he was uh, not very much focused. But whenever we have, uh, I have, you know, uh, collaborated with the team like uh, Madhu and Sivani was also not contributing earlier. Then I have uh, collaborated with them and they have contributed a lot. And they have, you know, positively demonstrated all the behaviors uh, whenever we were interacting. 
the next member from the same group. Thank you, Yogesh ji. Thank you. Uh, it's me, Ashit. Uh, uh, in our group, uh, Rahul started the pointing and he explained well. And uh, he has summarized all the points. So he's very cooperative and guided, guided us. And uh, Yogesh sir and uh, Srinam very helpful for the points, I think, possibly. And Madhurajan also. And Shivani is uh, lastly contributed to something. So I, I have also some issue here personally. So I can't uh, keep it always in group. Okay. Okay. Fine. Quickly. Next member. I think we're done with all members from this team. Shivani. I think Shivani is, Shiva is pending meeting. Okay. Please come. Hurry up. Hurry up. Please hurry up. Hello. Uh, yeah, so I felt uh, Sriram is leading the team, uh, leading the conversation. And uh, uh, similarly, Yogesh and the Ramesh. So I felt that there was a less uh, scope uh, on the other members to equally contribute. And uh, yeah, that's what the majorly I felt. Right. right. Thank you. Should we move on to the next group? Yes. Okay. Number four, breakout room number four. Quickly, member name impact. Member name impact. Quickly, yeah, I, please. I, I will go. I will go. <coughs> here. Yeah, yes, in yes. our in our group we had Priya, Prince Ram, Ram, Vijay, Shivraj, Ishwar. Priya was supportive. Prince was assertive. Ram Vijay was supportive. Shivraj was dominating. Ishan was assertive. He was not coming to the point, but he was very happy. Thank you. Done. So, yeah, thank you for that quick uh, response, Shesh Same process to be followed by all. Quickly, because we don't have much time now. I'll have to summarize. Quickly, next member, next member from the same group. Some other member from group number four. Priya, why don't you go? Please understand, we are running out of time. So, so uh, basically, we were uh, uh, breakout room number seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. We were in seven. Okay, it's okay. Uh, continue. Give your opinion. Now that we have started with this group, <laughs> give yours. Go on. Go on. Sure, sir. So, for me, Prince was supportive. Priya was assertive in a positive way as Shishgiri uh, was encouraging. Ranvijay was inno innovative and for myself, I would say a bit of a dominating. Okay. Fine. Group 5? Yeah, so for... Okay. okay, okay, okay. Ranvijay from the same group. Okay. Yeah, so for me, Priya was a, you know, she has a very good management skill and explanation skill, good impact on everyone. Ishan was a good contributor. Prince was supporting uh, others' ideas and encouraging other team members. Same for Sri Raj also. Good supporting everyone, encouraging everyone, good team member. And uh, Sheshagiri had given good uh, amount of, you know, uh, pointers and summarized everything very well. So everyone was really supportive. Right. Uh, yes, sir, may I? Yes, sir. Quickly, quickly. Uh, yes, sir. For me, like uh, Ishan, and uh, Ishan was really supportive. I think the, all of Ishan, Prince, Priya, Ranvija, and Sasagiri, they all were very supportive in the team. They all were listening. And Priya was leading the group. It was really good. She was uh, noting all the points and all the things. I think the team was really good. They were listening. The neutral impact of everyone on you. Okay. Right. Y yes, sir. Right. Okay. Done. Done. So, right. Dr. Prince, this side? Yes. Yeah. For me, uh, Priya was quite uh, active uh, noting the points of others. Shown good leadership quality. Ishan, uh, good team player, kept point in general. Uh, Shesh Hiri took the topic to uh, other perspective. However, uh, Shiv has shown uh, deep thoughts. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Team five, quickly. The team four. Four, okay, four. Yeah. Uh, we have Aditi Singh, uh, curious and supportive. Wafi Haider. Curious and interested, Dimpi Yadav, supportive and a good listener, Sneha, um, comfortable and encouraging, Srinu Totla, interested and informative. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Quick. Yes. Very good. Uh, so, so Joe was proactive. Sneha was having the bulk knowledge. Dimpy and Wafi was a good listener. And Sinu is good at examples. Good. Good. Very nice. Quick. Quick reflection. Quick. Very nice. Next. Next member from the same yes, group. Yes, sir. Myself, sir. I'm Sridhar Totla from Hyderabad. Sir, Joe is inclusive and a uh, lead taker. And Aditya Singh is supportive. Garishma is supportive. And Dimpy is a uh, contributor. And Wafi. Also collaborative and contributor. Good, nice. Anybody else from this group? Yeah, uh, so Sneha here. Yes, ma'am. Um, jo, uh, she is influencing, uh, collaborating, and supporting. Uh, Aditi Yadav, a uh, little shy to express, but is very frank. Uh, Dimpi Yadav, um, assertive and very much to the point. Uh, Wafi, uh, supportive. Uh, Shrinu, supportive and listening. Right. Done. Anybody else left out? Uh, okay. Dimpy this side, sir. Dimpy, yeah. Uh, Joe was motivating and supportive. Uh, Sneha was assertive. She had uh, clear points and she was supportive as well. Uh, Srinu was interactive. Uh, and Aditi, uh, I have neutral impact. Uh, Wafi, she was not much interactive though. That's it, sir. So quickly for, uh, quickly for the members who have got their feedback, look at the consistency. Now you have got multiple reflections, five members, five opinions. Now look at the consistency. For example, if all the members have said that you are dominating, you are actually one. All the members have said that you are a good listener, you are one. So look at the consistency. Okay. Uh, make uh, like, you know, we have this rubber band, something called as rubber band, right? 50s in one group, 100s in one, 100 notes, denomination of 100s, 50s, 10s, 20s. So look at the consistency. Uh, if you've got five reflections, obviously if uh, there are five members, you will get four reflections. Okay. Look at these reflections. Are they consistent or are they deviating? If there is consistency, your actual personality has come out. Or if you have got uh varied responses varied reflections it means uh maybe you are not very consistent you are not very uh, firm so look at your reflections get a quick view of your personality now also judge whether this exercise is helping you to become a little sensitive towards others keep pondering on this keep thinking on this in the meanwhile uh, we will complete five and six and I will summarize. So people who have got their feedback, uh, look for consistency, look for varied, varied response, whatever reflections you have got, just give a thought to them. Uh, team five. Hi, this is Naren. Guess... Yeah, Naren, please go ahead. Yeah, please. Okay, let me complete. So we were uh, total six members. Uh, Rachna, Priyank Patel and Krishma were all supportive and uh, assertive. Priyank Patel assertive and uh, Sri Prakash uh, didn't participate due to some commitment and uh, Ramesh just uh, contributed through the chat, didn't participate actively in the uh, conversation. So that's my feedback. Over quickly, to Priyank Patel. Quickly others, quickly others. Yeah, uh, this is Priyank here. Naren was supportive, inclusive, leading. Karisma was thoughtful. Uh, Ramesh was conclusive. Sri Prakash and Krupa has less participation participation in the discussion. Done. Next. Next, next, next. Okay, we are left with only one team now. Six. Okay, what you can should we start from group six, sir? Yes, yes. Yes, you can. Okay, so in my group, Sandeep was there, who was a thought seeder and uh, imposer. I found him interruptive also at some instances. Deepa was the patient listener and assertive. Uh, Ajay was there, like who was uh, experienced and patient listener, and also added a little humor in that. The fourth member was not participative. I'm sorry, I was unable to capture the name. Deepali or Deepika was there. Right, right. Some other member from group six. Uh, Sandeep here. Yeah. yeah. Sandeep here. Uh, Deepa Pandit is inactive. Ajay uh, Sari is a good listener and contributor. 
Jugal Kishore is a fantastic job role and uh, having good experience and exposure uh, for uh, discussion part and good uh, thought process and contributor. And Divya also uh, good inclusion and contributor. Right. Next. That's all. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Deepa here. Uh, I was in CEO. So, I, actually, we earlier also in break room, like Jugal sir was there. So, for Jugal sir, he is very assertive and supportive. And it's impact on me, like uh, I'm younger in that group I was in. There. So I learned from everything on new things, like uh, what was the topic there. So I learned to save the water for the related to the art topics. And for the Sandeep sir, he's a very senior. Uh, he has a more experience. He learn learn more new things from there. And from Ajay sir also, he's like acceptable and collaborative. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, quickly, sensitivity training program is a tool to sensitize people by giving their own reflections to them. Do you agree to this point? Yeah. It, it helps you to know what impact do you leave on others. Yeah. Were you dominating? Were you assertive? Were you supportive? Were, what were you? what was your impact on others now if multiple people have given you the same response if multiple people have given you the same feedback it means your impact is actually that do i agree or no yes sir, yes, sir. okay second now uh, as regards this posh is concerned you know all of you know posh right, uh, right. sensitivity training program or sensitivity training is also used as a pre-hand tool before the implementation of posh at workplace. Meaning, this is to sensitize people. Look, your personality may leave this impact on others. So kindly be mindful of this. Don't get, get, don't get into trouble later. So this is to improve the sensitivity index or sensitivity question of every member in a group. Okay, you are likely to leave a very strong impact. You can be uh, a motivator. You can be uh, a devil's advocate. You can be a critic. You can be whatnot. So when this tool is used as a pre-hand tool before the implementation, or before any meeting or before any project takes off, sensitivity training program is to sensitize people. It basically is to make people realize that they leave some impact on others. And how can we know this impact? By getting reflections. And if reflections are very consistent, it is what you can do for others. Did it help you? Was it boring? Was it good? Was it something different? Interesting, sir. Okay, yes, now very interesting. Now, so now tell me, do you really need PPT content and all that? I have always told you in my class, uh, in the in the very first class, I have told you, my classes may not uh, may not have PPT presentations, but then they have a hidden message. So don't be too concerned about PPT content, uh, slides and all that. Just act, extract the essence from each session. Like the honeybee uh, does. It, so every session is like a flower. Extract the essence and your, honeybees, your uh, honey is ready. All of you are working honeybees. And the honey is ready for you. The same thing you can follow uh, in your examination. Okay, uh, Jugal, you have a point to... Yeah, I uh, just wanted, wanted to understand... Yeah, I just wanted to understand one thing, Dr. Vishpande, like uh, when you are actually conducting sensitivity yeah. training, the way like yeah. we did it, yeah. most of the time what happens, like and I think uh, we can take a use case of the group one. Yeah. When you started asking the individual to start coming up and sharing their views about the others. Yes. So there is a hunch, there is like uh, the people become skeptical that if I will try to say yeah. in front of someone that, okay, your nature was dominant yeah. or the yeah. energy or the enthusiasm was yeah. not giving a room or a space to the other one to 
uh, come up with their thought process. So maybe like somewhere you were imposing, interrupting. Yes, I got it. How if, we can handle these kind of y- situations? Y- yes, yes. If it is uh, triggering some conflict, it can be done uh, closed door. It can be done confidentially. Meaning uh, the reports or reflections can be uh, taken by a facilitator like me okay. in, uh, in a closed door meeting. So then give reflection that from this training program, this is your impact on others. So it can be shared individually, uh, confidentially to every member. Now here it was open forum, nothing offensive. Okay, what what can be done, uh, what can also be done is uh, these reflections can be captured and these reflections can be shared confidentially to every member. Or else we can do one more thing. We can ask that all positive impact can be shared in the open forum. And if you find that there was an adverse or maybe negative impact, please write it down on a cheat sheet or maybe on something and then give it to... Yeah, yeah. So small, small tweaking can also be done. Sir. Small okay. tweaking can also be done. However, if you don't want to discuss uh, on an open platform like this, uh, mm-hmm. secretly these can be captured and then they can be shared uh, confidentially to every member. On a sure. larger scale, when you do it uh, in your organization. Correct. To sensitize Perfect. people. Sure. Okay, so thank you very much for your participation. Uh, we will meet again at uh, 4 p.m. 4 today. PM. Uh, another interesting uh, session is in the store. Um, uh, thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, I look forward to meet all of you once again today at 4 p.m. Thank you. I hope this session was interesting. Absolutely. Not and, and, and yeah, not boring. Sorry, and sorry, uh, one point, yes, sir. Uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, one, one, just one point. I was just thinking that... Uh, uh, this this session, I mean, this activity also helps us to understand that how are we perceiving yeah, others. Yes, yes, yes. Because so, I am perceiving someone like a way, but the other three didn't perceive them yes. maybe imposing or something. Yes. Which means that I also may, may need yes. to work on my yeah. judgment yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah, it, 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 it has the potential to sensitize you and me. Hello. Yes, please. Uh, sir, in a in a group activity, I have seen uh, these things like somebody is like leading the discussion or he is in active mode, and others get a less uh, you know time or they didn't feel um like they don't feel like putting more their point maybe because they don't have much knowledge. So if, this I have seen many times. Yes. Somebody is talking more and somebody is talking less. This as I have seen in. Uh, most of the group discussion or yes, most yes. of the time so yes it, it does uh, that doesn't mean that the person like doesn't wanted to speak or uh, he was not active listener or he was not active so that doesn't mean but then the many times it is perceived in that way yeah no you see uh, you see uh, i'll give you a quick example of uh, an ipl match you are included in the playing 11 obviously the team management wants you to leave an impact Maybe you fielded very well, you stopped many runs, you scored uh, many runs, you took uh, many wickets, or even if you have not batted well, even if you have not bowled well, you were still impactful for, for the team by saving a lot of runs because you could field very well. So the team management wants you to leave some impact. Okay. So contribution is a must. How do you contribute? Maybe you did not speak very well, but you came in, you chipped in, and you were able to conclude very well. Okay. okay. So, so contribution is a must. Contribution is a must. So in a, in a playing 11, in a, in a team, you have been included or you are given a place in the playing 11. Obviously, the team management wants you to have some impact. Okay. Understood. Understood. Okay. okay. So this, so so the, so this gives you an uh, this gives you a reflection that your weak area is this you need to improve on this got it okay all right so thank you very much everyone for your participation for your presence i have two questions but i'll ask in the next session uh, okay if, if 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 you have a question pertaining especially to this you can quickly ask me so should this training, such trainings be done within the team itself? Because I feel that within the team, you will probably already people will have judgments. 
and even if you know uh, you give you know you may may not give right or wrong feedback and i feel that uh, no in case it is yeah. triggering it, it 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 is triggering some controversy it can be done closed doors and the reflections can be shared during uh, appraisal time capture capture uh, the reflections share with the team member or share with the members okay. in capacity of a hr uh, in a uh, during a closed door meeting or during appraisal time okay okay another question was that uh, will this activity be more helpful if we do it like maybe 7 8 or 10 people because i will have more reflections yes it can be done it can be done ideal size is 8 to 10 hmm because i wanted to give opportunity i just restricted i made it 5 or 6 it can be include it mm. uh, you can still uh, uh, make it for 8 to 10 people you can uh, go higher on the numbers okay, okay. All right. thank you all right so thank you very much uh, once again everyone please take your lunch and come back at uh, 4 pm okay thank you thank you the truly experiential training thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you, you.